अवार्ड लेक्चर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स गोकटे पी यू कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड साइंस वेलकम टुडे वी शाल कंटिन्यू विथ द ह्यूमन कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन इन इंडिया दिस इज द फोर्थ एंड द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन इन इंडिया लेट्स टेक अ क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर वॉट आर द इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इंडिकेटर्स मीन्स वॉट आर द मेजर्स ओके वॉट आर द मेजर्स और इंडिकेटर्स और वॉट इज द साइन ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इन आर कंट्री मीन्स हाउ डू वी कम टू नो एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इज इम्प्रूविंग इन आर कंट्री वॉट आर द साइंस वॉट आर द मेजर्स वॉट आर द इंडिकेटर्स फर्स्ट वन वी हैव टेकन फाइव इंडिकेटर्स दैट शो एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द कंट्री फर्स्ट वन इज रियल पर कैपिटा इनकम पी सी आई इज पर कैपिटा इनकम पर कैपिटा इनकम मीन्स पर पर्सनस इनकम रियल मीन्स वॉट पर कैपिटा इनकम मीन्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी एंड रियल पर कैपिटा इनकम मीन्स द परचेजिंग कैपेसिटी परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ द पीपल नाउ वेन यू सी दैट द परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ द पीपल और द स्पेंडिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द पीपल इन द कंट्री हैज increased why it has increased because their income has increased their capacity of purchasing power has increased so when purchasing power increases then definitely he will spend uh, that money on education and his health care also then literacy rate has increased second one is second indicator is literacy rate has increased that is uh, i have given here uh, below literacy rate of india as per 2011 year census was how much is 64.84% whereas literacy rate of india as per 2011 year census is 74.04% which shows that literacy rate that is people who know to read and write in our country has increased then this is an indicator of education and health sector in our country then third one life expectancy has increased life expectancy means what on an average for how many years uh, the people of a country can live that is the uh, average life span of the people of the country has also increased why it has increased because of education and because of better health facilities crude death rate has decreased crude death rate means what here the number of people dying per thousand people that is the number of people dying per thousand live people okay so that has also become less everybody is going to die that is for sure but the death rate death can be prolonged or it can be postponed that is earlier people would simply die if they would have some problems but now uh, they can cure themselves or even they can prolong their death so death rate has decreased then fifth one infant mortality rate has decreased infant means a small child newborn child mortality is death and rate more infant mortality rate means the number of children dying per thousand live births that is every new uh, for every thousand new births how many children are dying that is called as infant mortality rate and infant mortality rate has also decreased why because of uh, education among women for a proper health care uh, among the women and if mother is strong the child is bound to live so infant mortality rate has decreased which are the in which show that education and health sector is improving in our country these are the indicators of education and health <coughs> 
Then uh, literacy rate of India as per 2011 year census is 74.04 percent. You should remember this for fill in the blank. Then for your knowledge, a 2001 year census figure also is given. Then let's deal with another question. Explain the difference between human capital and human development. Now you know what is human capital that is skills, the knowledge, the technical expertise among the people of the country. Okay. Then human capital considers education and health as a means or a source or a way to increase the labor productivity that is to increase the labor growth rate of labor in our country. Uh, human capital considers education and health as a means whereas human development is based on the idea that education and health are they are not just a means but they are very important to human well-being to human welfare because only when people have the ability to read and write that is they have education and ability to lead a long and healthy life that is they have good health they will be able to make other choices or any choices in their lives which they value which are good for them so human here the line is human capital considers education and health only as a means or a source for increasing the labor productivity in our country whereas human development considers it as uh, the very important integral part for human welfare as with the help of education and health only they will be able to make better choices in their lives they will be able to make better decisions in their life then next human capital treats human beings as a means to and to an end that is human capital treats human beings they think human beings are just a source they are just a means they are just a source to an end and what is that end the end being increase in productivity to increase the labor production in the to increase the number of working population in the country the productivity of labor in our country according to human development human beings are only the end and end in themselves they are only the final they are only the end in themselves and human welfare human well-being should be increased through education and health okay uh, that is human capital treats human beings as a means okay and end is increase in product labor productivity whereas human development considers human beings are only the end and they should be increased through education and health then we come to the last part of the lesson match the following here uh, first one you see a and uh, first part you see uh, first one is more contribution to national income you see in the second part last one skilled labor then Dutch's bank that is the second uh, first one here at your second part side global growth centers okay then third one is world bank world bank is here you see India and the knowledge economy the economy should have come at this side there is a misprint here please correct it India and the knowledge economy okay World Bank says that had given a statement that India will become a uh, will develop itself uh, through the knowledge economy that is the through education sector only it will improve if there is education then uh, educational achievement fourth one uh, here uh, the answer is literacy rate fourth one only in the b side also that is then fifth one uh, match the following better gender equality here you see 
a positive development here i have marked their fifth one uh, here which is fourth here this side now for exam you will just write it more contribution to national income in the same line you will write, write what skilled labor dutch's bank you will write global growth centers world bank you will write india and the knowledge then educational achievement literacy rate better gender equality positive development okay so this is the end of the lesson you please take screenshots note it down for, for study purpose and from here only you will get the questions for exams thank you